Welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host Galadon and today another exciting Clash of Clans episode and I have to tell you I'm going to share with you why I think Town Hall 13 is right around the corner and why I am and what I have done to prepare for it and we'll take a look at some of my craziest accounts in Clash of Clans. And today's episode is sponsored by Swag Bucks. This is a fantastic way to earn extra cash and gift cards like Amazon, Walmart, Target, Starbucks, and PayPal Cash. I've used it myself and it works. You can watch videos, play games, take research surveys, or shop online and earn rewards. The link is in the description. Make sure you use it, click that link, and you'll get an extra $5 bonus when you take your first survey. That's right, enough to buy a gold pass, which will help prepare you for Town Hall 13. So again, thank you to Swagbucks for sponsoring and make sure you guys check out that link. It helps the channel and it helps you. All right, let's move on and talk a little bit more about Town Hall 13, why I think it's just around the corner and what we can expect from this update. Now, of course, you know the World Championships are coming up in October. As soon as they are over, it is a free-for-all. It could be at any moment that we will see Town Hall 13, and I'm thinking that Supercell probably wants to get Town Hall 13 out before Christmas. That just makes sense, right? Now, we're getting ready because we're buying all the packages. We are stacking up so many magical items. The idea for us is I want to go instantaneously to max out Town Hall 13. I want to, okay, oh, not quite literally, but we're going to do it quickly. And of course, it's because I am buying every single pack. Okay, not every single package. Now, for instance, the battle boost, not really going to need that one because the heroes, I'm going to max them out instantaneously anyway. And 40k Dark Elixir, that's just not enough. It, it, it really isn't enough for a Town Hall 13 player. But check this out. This is insane. I've got 27 power potions, 18 resource potions, uh, only four. Uh, that's, that's a travesty. Four training potions, 66 builder potions, and of course, five clock tower potions. We have some hero potions, research potions, and uh, 20 shovels. I mean, shovels, shovels, 20 shovels. I am going to use those, but remember, I've never spent a penny buying those directly. 10 books of fighting, that's enough for 10 new troop upgrades. And moving on, 12 books of building, that probably won't be enough for Town Hall 13. Just saying. Now, books of heroes, 46. There's been a lot of talk about what is happening with the new heroes. And could there be a fourth hero? And if it shows up, will it start at level one? Will it start? Now, I'm thinking, what if you start the new hero at the same level where your warden is right now? That's that's a possibility, I think, right there. Books of everything for anything and everything. And then, of course, we've got runes. Man, do I have runes. Okay, so we're ready. See, because the books, they just finish it. The runes give you the resources and five runes of Dark Elixir. I'm guessing that it's still not going to be enough to max out Town Hall 13. Neither will 132 wall rings. I think we need about 10 times that, but we'll see. I'm also hoping for a twist when it comes to wall rings. And then remember you guys, if you can, stack up those hammers now because you've still got that pesky seven day cooldown on all hammer purchases with League Metals. So that's my account. It's pretty much ready to go, but I anticipate that we'll need some gems as well. So yes, get ready. Of course, you will see day one, a massive gem spree on this account to get to Town Hall 13. Now, speaking of massive gem sprees, Let's go ahead and review. Now, if you guys watched my recent episode where I talked about all of the different Town Hall level accounts that I have, I've been working on trying to max out essentially every Town Hall. So two through 13 is the goal. And what we've done here is this is my Town Hall 10, and I'm finally going to rename him Galadon 10.0 so that he fits in. Because he, he kind of didn't feel right because he didn't have the right name to go with all of my other lower town hall level accounts. So now he is Galadon 10.0 and we can review everybody else. Now we've got Galadon 2.0. He's fully maxed out, ready to go. He is a war killer, obviously. Uh, not, well, okay, maybe with good CC troops, he's doing okay. Town hall three, not maxed out. Now the reason this guy isn't maxed out yet is because I took my old town hall three and sent it to town hall eight. Uh, I'll show you that one in just a moment, but this is the new Town Hall 3 that we recently started, 
And although it's closing in, it's not quite maxed out yet. You know who is maxed out? Town Hall 4, Galadon 4.0, and as you can see there, the only upgrade would be the Town Hall. Now, Galadon 4.0 does war occasionally, but mostly we've been doing like my 12.0, and then Peter's account, and then like 236, because I found that the 4.0 just doesn't really, oh, wait a minute, he's got a gem box, okay. So this is the rule, I always clear gem boxes on these lower accounts, even though likely they may never move up, it just feels like it's a waste of 25 gems. Otherwise, this is 5.0, he is fully maxed out, looking good right there, and if you need a Town Hall 5 base, essentially you can watch all of these and know a great base for every Town Hall level, maybe not the best base in the world, but you know, I think that's an acceptable Town Hall 5. Here's an acceptable Town Hall 6, Galadon 6.0, okay, so he's got a few upgrades left to go, but obviously the walls are maxed out and it's looking like a pretty solid base. So this is generally my practice is I will pop through each individual account, try to collect resources, collect the loot cart and get a couple of builder upgrades going and then move on. Galadon 7.0, looking pretty good. Also has a gem box to clear and you'll notice, yes, he is completely maxed out. So he is ready to go. One of the few that is now, that's unfortunate that it's going to take so long for these others, but this is the thing I wanted to ask you guys about. Do you want to see me farming in Town Hall 8, 9, 10? Because I do have these accounts that need work. Obviously, you've got a lot of upgrades yet to go here. And no, I am not going crazy with the gems on every single account, okay? We will gem that rush, the rush 12, things like that. But we're not going to gem every single account because it just doesn't make that much sense especially if it's going to stall or it's going to be permanently at each town hall level. This is Galadon 9.0. Notice it's an older account. He's got some old obstacles right here and ooh, a massive loot cart. So obviously we are going to have to take that loot and spend it as well. But Galadon 9.0 has a long ways to go with only a level two Archer Queen. Uh, we can use a couple of the big upgrades right here dark barracks and that way at least we don't lose the loot on getting raided on defense and that's 9.0 10.0 you already saw here is 11.0 yeah this this is going to be my single biggest challenge if i ever do try to repair this account you'll notice uh yeah it's it's basically an impossible strange but true Town Hall 11, I'm not even going to collect the loot cart because I'll just lose that. I mean, it's safer sitting in the middle of my village right there than uh, trying to put it into my stores and letting people raid it and three-starring me every single stinking time. Okay, then of course there's Galadon, question mark, point, question mark, the brand new, this is the Gem That Rush charity series. If you're not familiar, make sure you check it out on the channel. This is a fantastic series where every dollar we spend on this account is going to also go to a charity. And I think the decision here is no heroes and keep the walls at level one essentially forever. And then the very familiar Gem Fix Farm Max That Rush Town Hall 12 account that is actually looking pretty healthy. You gotta admit, I mean, oh, hello, Rune of Gold. Okay, I should be saving this for that series, that episode, but we're gonna go ahead and buy it because there was only a few minutes left. We almost missed purchasing the rune of gold, but we'll spend it in the next episode. Make sure that you don't miss out on that. And then the oddly satisfying seventh birthday surprise string. Uh, okay, that, that feels good. I don't know why I enjoy doing that, but every time I come to this account, I have to click on those. Okay, so here's the thing. Here are my predictions. Galadon's callouts for Town Hall 13, all right? Now, I know that I've said in the past that it could either come late this year or early next year. Based upon everything I hear and Darian's hints that he's left in the community, I'm going to go ahead and predict that Town Hall 13 comes out right before Christmas this year. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it were right around a week or so before Christmas that we saw Town Hall 13. Now, I currently don't have any inside information about the Town Hall 13 update, which is cool because it allows me to talk about anything and guess about anything I want. Once I know, then I'll have to go ahead and clam up a little bit, but I promise to let you guys know at the earliest possible moment. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and think about what could possibly be coming. So I do predict we will see a new hero because we had King at seven, Queen at nine, Warden at 11, I think there will be a fourth hero at 13, but I feel like there won't be a hero that comes in at level one. There's going to be something else 
you'll either be able to advance it more quickly or it will come in at the same level that your warden is or you won't be able to bring all four. I'm not quite sure what's happening there, but we'll see. I think I'm just expecting something unusual other than, boop, here's a new hero, start it at level one. Now, as far as walls, I do think that we'll see a new level of walls, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's going to be a twist on walls in that not just simply another level of walls, but these walls are going to function differently than any other walls we've seen. Maybe some sort of built-in defense mechanism. Maybe the walls are taller. They prevent units from flying over until they're slightly damaged. I'm hoping for innovations in walls at Town Hall 13. Now for signature defense, you've got Expos, then Inferno Towers, and then the Eagle Artillery. I'm thinking the Giga Tesla remains at Town Hall 13. It levels up to maybe a level 10, but, and it's a big but, it is not the signature or key defense for Town Hall 13. I predict we see something completely new and additional defense, yet Town Hall 13 will still house a Giga Tesla. We'll see another big massive defense, maybe even one that'll be more like an Inferno Tower and less like an Eagle Artillery in that there could be two or three of them at some point in the future as they continue to update the game. Then as far as new troops, right now we have 13 regular Elixir troops and eight Dark Elixir troops. I'm predicting a 14th regular Elixir troop will enter the game and it will have something to do with air attacks. That's just my prediction. All right, so that's mine. What are yours? Let me know down in the comments. Again, make sure you check out Swag Bucks. It helps the channel and you get ready for Town Hall 13. As always, thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the episode. You're the true hashtag Galafam. Now get out there. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be kind to people, animals, and easy on the planet. And I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Tion Hall 13, 14, 15, 16, and Tion Hall Peter 17 dollars!